Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to Cast 529. I'm Brian. And I'm Shauna. Tonight, we're going to take a look at, I guess, our most desirable, cheapest bourbons. So these are the bottles that are low cost, that Shauna and I don't mind going to the shelf and taking a pour of. So give us just a minute, and we'll be right back to get started. Welcome back, guys. Shauna, what have you got for us tonight? So, tonight, I have one of my cheaper pours, my, one of my favorite pours in this class, and that is the Old Forester 100 Proof. <laughs> I'm telling you what, guys. This bottle is only $23.99 MSRPs here in Ohio for $23.99. And you can find it pretty much any, any liquor store you go into here in Ohio. And it is full of flavor. I absolutely enjoy this one. Not only do I enjoy it in my old fashions, which I've recently found out I like rise in my old fashions as well. But for $23.99, I love to just sip on it. It, it's a great one. I might add that we didn't always like rise in our old fashions. We did not. So what I'm sipping on tonight is one of my favorite cheap bourbon pours. Is 1792 small batch, 33.99 here in Ohio. I honestly I think I find it every time I go into the liquor store anymore. Yeah. At the time we got our first bottle, it was a little bit harder to find. So smooth, great pour, really. I mean, I don't know. That's probably our third or fourth bottle. We actually fought over being able to pick that one. Yeah, I jumped. <laughs> I called it first. He did. He called so, dibs, and so she he was won. not happy with I, me. I was not. I was not, guys. Of course, you guys know if you watch our show, I'm not going to leave Woodford Reserve out, and as you can tell, this one is almost empty, ready for me to drink it. And that's why I didn't pour it tonight because, well, there's only a little bit left. Even though I know when it gets down to this level, I just need to drink it. So this is the Woodford Reserve Straight Wheat um, Whiskey. It is phenomenal for $36.99 here in Ohio. It's a lower proof. Um, it's only at 90.4 proof, so basically 10 proof points less than the Old Forester, a little bit more expensive. With this straight wheat, I get more of that cherry note, more of those notes that I really enjoy, plus I'm a Woodford girl, and it's this one beats out the regular straight Woodford Reserve, the straight bourbon whiskey straight for bourbon. me. So this one obviously is up there for me one of my nightly pours if I'm having a nightly pour as you can tell um, I love this one now we did we didn't mention this but we did put a cap on this show tonight of forty dollars per bottle we did so with that being said I've got to ask would this be ahead of your double oak um, I do drink this one more often than the double oak because the double oak's a little bit more expensive I see you <laughs> You've hit that bottle pretty hard. I have, yes. So I would say I do not use this one in cocktails by no means. Right. This one is just a straight pour for me. Um, but I would say it's very close up there with a double oak for me. However, I'm not going to say I like it better than the double oak. I'm just saying for a nightly pour, this one's a lot cheaper to have a nightly pour right. of, and I enjoy it. Okay. That's fair. So my second bottle tonight is Four Roses, small batch. Um, this is $36.99 here in Ohio, readily available. Walk into the store and it's gonna be on the shelf. I do not mix this in a cocktail either. However, as you can see. Yeah, and I don't hardly ever touch that one at all. No, I do like it, I it's, do, it's but that's, like, that's all Brian. Yeah, this, <laughs> this one's kind of me and that one's kind of her and um, I will oftentimes after we've shot a show at night and we sit down to edit I will grab a pour of this and sit down at the bar and do my thing after I finished off whatever it is we had that night mm -hmm. um, for the show but great bottle great price and like Shauna said I don't I don't put in cocktails now my last one 
after Shauna's done, I do I do use it occasionally in cocktails. So great, and we never use the 1792 in no. cocktails either. No, absolutely we always not. just um, the Old Forester. I honestly put the Old Forester, um, the 86 proof, more in cocktails than I do the 100 proof. It's you know around the same price point, but I enjoy the flavor of a straight pour of the 100 proof a lot more. You, you can't yeah. beat the price for twenty three ninety nine. No, you, you cannot. No. So, and and I want to add yeah. that that is not. <clears throat> it's really not us talking ourselves into liking something. Mm -mm. Because no, it's I truly cheap. like it. Because we have lots of other stuff that's not that we like. We truly enjoy these bottles. Absolutely. Um, if we didn't, I mean, they, the levels wouldn't be. Yeah. These are bottles, all of these bottles this evening are bottles. As soon as they're empty, we replace them. Yeah. They, they always get replaced. And, and that's probably something we can do a whole nother show on because there are a few more bottles that fall into that category. Mm -hmm. When they're gone, we got to have more. Yep. Um, that, that's a whole nother ball of wax. So. <laughs> it is. <laughs> all right. So my last one. And I'm not gonna lie, I fought wanting to like this, <laughs> but I really like it. And it has won some blinds for me. So Evan Williams Bottled and Bond, 1999. It is really good. I did not feel that I could ever get my mindset to like it, only because it has the cheap little plastic twisty top. <laughs> The bottle's just in. It's not a pretty bottle. The package bottle. <laughs> just doesn't say, look at me. It does not. It does not. It's just, here I am. But for $19.99, it is wonderful. It is wonderful in your cocktails. It is wonderful as a straight pour. And like I said, it has one blinds for me. Um, I which, think it, that's Bottle and Bond, right? Yes. I think proof. it did well in our last Bottle and Bond show. Yeah, it did. I believe it did. It did really well. Nineteen ninety nine. You cannot go wrong. If you've never had it and you don't have it at your your bar, your home bar, you need to pick up a bottle. Because at first, I'm not gonna lie, it has that little bit of ethanol on the nose that I'm liking, but it quickly goes away. I mean, open up your mouth and and <laughs> take another smell of it and it really goes away and it opens up and it, it's really a good pour. And I never thought I'd say that, but it really is. It is, it really is. And, and when we were picking bottles for this show, there were several other bottles that were, we only wanted to do three a piece, but yep. we could have easily picked, combined probably another three bottles. Oh, absolutely, easily. we could have. And that would have left a lot of bottles on the shelf that honestly will probably sit there in the state they're in for a long time. Yeah, um, there are several bottles that we'll probably leave on the on our shelves. But we've gotten but them for different shows we that, we, that they fit the bill yes. and we wanted to review. Yep, but I can guarantee you all of these ones, once they're empty, they will be replaced. If anybody's watched the show at all, um, you probably know what my last bottle is going to be, but um, <laughs> my bullet orange, uh, twenty twenty six ninety nine here in Ohio. Uh, excellent. I mean, I love to make old fashions with that. I love to take a pour of it. Twenty six ninety nine. There's a lot of people out there that give bullet a hard time. Mark, if you're watching, I know you're one of them. Uh, <laughs> However, it did not come from Family Dollar. Uh, <laughs> oh, he was giving me a hard time the other night. So that's my lineup. Small batch 1792, four roses, uh, small batch. Small batch, did I screw that up? No, it's small batch. Small batch. Yep. And my bullet orange label. Um, this, of my three, this is my mixer. This is what I will make an old fashioned with. But I also enjoy it just poured neat. Give me a Glen Karen, give me a neat pour of it. Um, this was probably one of the first, as we started to grow our palates, mm -hmm. and Andy kind of got me going on this, or this bullet orange. And uh, boy, I really got hooked. That was probably the last bottle I got hooked on. And then I started yep. 
really Breaking op out. open it up and mm -hmm. and trying. But you still have those favorites that you do. Yeah, you yeah. Know. I mean, no matter how good of a bottle I have, Woodford is always my go back. Just like Bullet will probably be yours. Yeah, it's it's and just I guess it's kind of a security blanket. You yeah. know, it's uh, you're comfortable with it. And if you're out and you just don't know what to order, and you look and you look and you look, and you're like, okay, well, just give me a poor Bullet Orange. Yep. Um, one of the other bottles I mentioned, we you know we could have really added to this. Um, I want to mention I want to mention the ancient age, <laughs> and I can't give you. I, I'm wanting to say it's eleven dollars yeah. for a seven fifty ml. I think so. Yeah. Uh, this is a one liter, and it was like thirteen or fourteen dollars. It's great old fashioned. You know, it's not going to give you a lot, a lot of depth if you take a neat pour of it. You're not going to be like, oh, I'm going to enter this and win awards with it or anything like that. But for the money. You Put it on around. the shelf in your bar. If somebody wants an old fashioned, and maybe you don't want to use some of your better stuff, grab this, and it does they aren't going to have a clue that it's no, not a good it, bourbon. It is. It's, it's. I can drink that as a pour. I, I truly can. Um, which again shocks me. <laughs> it's just not something we normally go to. It, it isn't. Obviously, However, we, you know we have drank some of it. Yeah. If you put that in a in a cocktail. It's it's a really good cocktail. It is. It, it's it's a good drink, and yeah, that's not something that we're going to run out to the store right away and replace. I'm sure it will get replaced when it goes dry. Absolutely. But it has a purpose here on our bar. It has a purpose, and and we use it for that. Yep. So the six original ones that we had. Sorry, um, guys. Take that one back. <laughs> um. $179. You can get all six bottles. Total. $179. Great way to kickstart your bar. Yeah, I was just going to say, if you're starting bottles. a bar. Because, I mean, honestly, if you watch the bourbon prices anymore, it's not unusual to pay $125, $150, $175, $200 for one bottle anymore. Yep. And so you can get six really good bottles. For $179. And if you want to get the agent age, heck, you're that still, just throws you at $190. Well you're still under $200. Yeah, you're still well under $200. And so, you can still get a happy meal. I mean, this isn't how to stock your bar, but hey, if you want to stock your bar for under $200, these are great ones to have in there. And along those lines, we did a show a good while back. I believe it was $250. How would, how would we start our bar if we had $250? And we each picked five bottles. I think we each had six. Six bottles. Yep. We were able to. We shared one it. bottle, correct? Yes, we did share a bottle. We each had five individual bottles, mm -hmm. and we both wanted the six bottles. So we said, yep. "Okay, we'll each do five. This is the common denominator." But that was two hundred fifty dollars, which is a good bit more than what we're talking about here. It is, um, but we had some more expensive bottles where we kind of limited ourselves. But I think. We should challenge ourselves later this summer um, or fall to do that again. Yeah. Because we've expanded all the bourbons that we've tasted and stuff like that. Um, and so we should really try to do that again and see if we're still on the same page or how we mix it up some. One other thing I want to add on this lineup. Mm -hmm. One of the rules we had, like I mentioned, was it had to be $40 or under. Yep. The other rule was... To the best of our knowledge, we wanted everybody to be able to walk into their local liquor store and find these. So that's that was also a factor. Because there were a couple bottles. There was another bottle in the 1792 lineup. Uh, that I really enjoy. Did it fall under the 40 or was it, it just over 40? Nope, it's under 40. But the sweet wheat. Yeah. But at least here in Ohio, it's... It's a limited release. Yeah, it's and, hard to find. And... It's not, I mean, when it does come out, it gets bought up really quickly. So. Yeah, so that's, that was a big factor. We wanted everybody to be able to find these. So this was our uh, first show back after our last live. And if you guys missed that show, it was a good time. It was. Um, and if you haven't seen our lives, we've been giving away pretty good stuff. 
each yeah. night. Thanks so, to Mark. Mark gave a really nice bottle. Yeah, of last week. Uh, Taylor. Thank Mark, you, Mark, for yeah, doing Mark, that. Mark was a guest um, and kind of blew our minds. We were sitting here and he said, hey, I want to I want to give a bottle E.H. Taylor small batch away. So we threw that in our giveaway. Yep, and our um, viewer, Kevin, was more than happy to get that, I'm sure. He was, I believe. <laughs> yeah, he did tell us that he had had it. I didn't think to ask him if he currently had it, but he had it, he had at least had it. But yep. I figure most anybody that's been to Buffalo Trace for a tour oh, yeah. or to wait in line has probably had E.H. Taylor small batch. But it's still a nice bottle to get your hands on. It is. Yes. So um, I think that's all we have for it tonight. Is, yeah. Um, it's great to be back. It seems like it's been forever. I know we just did a live on Friday, but um, this week we will not be doing a live. I just just it's, not going to work with our schedule. It's a crazy busy week this week. Yeah, we've got um, an extra bourbon night thrown in. Yep, my son's coming in from Florida. It's 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 a crazy week. We'll we'll post another show. However, that gives us an extra week to really try to come up with something. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. Mark and Mike had all kinds of ideas, so I know that they're going to come up with some really good ones. Um, yeah. But everybody has hectic schedules, so we are going to try to mesh them. If not, you might get me up here with Brian. Shauna, I don't know why she's nervous about this whole live show thing. <laughs> and it's just like this. It is. However, it's really stressful because I'm trying to look at the computer, trying to talk, and I don't want you to be bored. And I, I feel like the guys have more, more stuff to talk about because I see him every day. <laughs> she's not happy about that. <laughs> no, good. <laughs> okay, well... Um, if you guys would hit the like button for us, we'd really appreciate that. Just go ahead, click it. Just the, the like, the like. And the Nothing subscribe, to... if you're and not. And then after the like button, yeah, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, they light up. They... Got little yeah. confetti comes off we, of them. We are working on our 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, we're a little ways away from it, over 200 away from it. However, you won't want to miss that because we're going to do a live when we hit 1,000. And we're going to have several bottles we're going to be giving away. So help us get there. Yeah, it's it, that show should be a great yeah. time, yeah. really. So, guys, again, um, not to repeat myself, thanks for joining us. We appreciate you all. Um, until next time, be safe, everybody. Thanks, everyone.